Good morning and welcome to three more minutes. Uh, we are on day nine of 21 days on promises. And today we are in the book of Psalms and we're actually in the uh, longest chapter in the Bible, Psalms 119. And we're going to be focused uh, just on verses 145 to 152. And uh, the kind of the, the title for today would be Hope in the Promises of God. The story of this is David is the psalmist. Um, he's writing to God. He's in a difficult place and he's calling out to God and he's he's asking for help. Uh, verse 145 says, I call with all my heart, answer me, O Lord, and I will obey your decrees. I call out to you, save me, and I will keep your statutes. Um, this is like David pleading. He's like, God, help me. Like, I'll do whatever you need. Like, just please help me. Verse 147 says, I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. Um, the way this sounds at first is like, hey, he's, he's uh, disciplined, right? He's getting up early, he's staying at night just to read God's word, just to spend time. And what the, the Hebrew word here that they're using is actually kadam. And the way it's uh, paired is actually implying a sleeplessness. So it's not like he's choosing to wake up early or he's choosing to stay up through the night to focus on God. He can't sleep. Um, whatever is going on in his life, whatever is concerning him, whatever worries are weighing him down is, is robbing him of sleep. Um, is that something that we can relate to? That we have a hard time sometimes knowing what's going to happen and we can't sleep. I rise before dawn and it says my eyes stay open through the watches of the night. Uh, verse 149 says, Hear my voice in accordance with your love. Preserve my life, O Lord, in accordance with your laws. Uh, the way this is written is it's kind of a, an attention grabber. He's like saying to God, like, hey, do I have your attention? Um, hear my voice, right? Verse 150 says, Those who devise wicked schemes are near, but they are far from your law. Yet you are near, O Lord, and all your commands are true. Um, the thing about this that is, is really cool for me is that um, first he's, he's telling God like, Hey, you know, that people who want to hurt me, that, that things that want to do me harm are nearby. Um, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of space, but the other thing, the very next verse, yet you are near O Lord. And what I hope you take away from this, um, what, I, what I'm trying to take away from this today is that even when things are, are near to us that are concerning, that are scary, that are, are making us wonder if, if we are okay, God is also right near us. God is also right there waiting and, and helping, uh, hoping to help us if we will just let him. So hopefully we can put that faith and that trust in him this week.